What's up everyone, Frankenstein here, and today we are going to do part four of this Dragon Yang Man. Uh, it's a knockoff uh, Dinobot set, and it's been fun building him uh, as we go along. So we're doing part four today, he's almost done. So let's get down to that. So let's get this out of the way. So we can bring in these guys right here, and um, so let's see who is number four, and I'm pretty sure it'll be this Triceratops guy. Let's cut him out of the package. Oh, sorry about the camera moving. So, there we go. Got him out. Let's get rid of this. Quickly clean, clean up our mess here. That out of the way. So just a, a few things to remind everybody that uh, you know. Here we'll just sneak this guy over here since we'll be needing him soon. Uh, yeah. So a few things. Don't forget if you uh. Are interested in buying any of my stickers or t-shirts uh, feel free to message me and uh, there's also links inside down below and uh, yeah oh and also if you want one of these uh, model kits I have prowl for sale as well prowl we did uh, our first one if you missed those videos go check them out but yeah, let's take a look at this guy real quick. So, this is what he looks like. Uh, the mouth, oh, the mouth opens on this one. That's a change. The arms move, the tail does not move, and the legs have a bend. So that's pretty much it for the articulation of this guy. And uh, don't forget, uh, every Sunday at 8 o'clock on the Children of Primus, you can watch me and the other people from Children of Primus. Um, I'll have links for them soon. Uh, every Sunday at 8 o'clock. And we will be interviewing uh, Decepticity tomorrow. So don't miss that. Uh, and uh, I also put the t-shirts and stuff up at uh, there I'll put the jip up there and the, the children of Primus and Septicity all up right there <laughs> so anyways uh, let's just take a look at this guy's instructions again they're backwards and again on the other side the instructions so we're gonna work from backwards because we like to do it raw here on Frankenstein's so I, I just like doing videos like this because it shows you um, that you know you and me we are, are the same we do things the same and it's all good you know um, so what it's telling me to do here is to take this piece and Fold it in like that. Oh, cool little mohawk. Mohawk. All right. From there, it is saying to open this up. Oh, 
Well, that came out. Oh, there's a hand there. So, there we go. Open this up, open this up. And we fold all that like so. These will turn around and fold in. And so will these hands will fold in as well. So we got that going on. Um, oh, and also I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive about this one. Let's just get that piece. How do we get this piece all the way in there? It's showing that it goes all the way in, but how do we get it in? That is the question. How do we get you in? Because it doesn't want to, unless it comes up somehow, which it doesn't seem like it's going to. How do we get this piece in? There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Uh, oh, there we go. Hello, brain work. So, I guess it just all has to come together the right way. So this does fold back in. This piece will just sit like that. And then I guess this will just come all the way down and just close just like so um, I don't know why this is not coming in oh, there we go now we can get that piece in so there we go this will make things a little bit easier on this side since we know what to do now just flip this all the way and just flip this like that and close that back up and then we could just take this and fold it in and there you go for that um, uh, so we can now take this piece and this piece hmm. I don't know if we're folding that around or not but we can turn his head around and just bring his head up so that you have clearance to turn all this completely completely around like that and we'll just bring this back like that so then you have his fist to pop out fist to pop out and just move his head back and there you go uh, it does look like this somehow comes apart like I don't know why but it just seems like that comes completely apart but we'll figure that out later on so yeah um, if you are a small transformers channel and you would like an interview um, please feel free to message me in the comments you know that I do uh, transformations, unboxings, toy trivia, and uh, all that good stuff. But this is him. This is his face. It does turn. It does not look up and down. He does have a waist swivel. Um, the arms can bend move out to the side, really out to the side, turn, uh, his feet do go all the way back, and he can do the splits, 
and that's about it for uh, this guy uh, so before we transform him into his arm mode and put him on that guy uh, just stay tuned and watch this little giveaway commercial I'll call it and we'll be right back so if you want a chance to win one of these guys here you can either win a little uh, sound wave with a little ravage or big sound wave with another little ravage or Mr. Optimus Prime here if you would like a chance to win one of these guys all you have to do is like a video watch a video subscribe to my channel and you will be automatically entered to win and you also if you su subscribe to the children of primus you can have a second chance to win uh and i'd greatly appreciate it, all you people to watch one of my videos so i can get my hours in i'm very close and uh, that will be able to bring, let me be able to bring you more content. So, uh, again, if you want to win one of these guys, just like, subscribe, and watch a video, and you'll be entered to win. All those people that have subscribed already already have a chance to win. So, back to the video. All right, we're back and we're gonna get this guy into his arm mode. So, before we do that, I'm getting old. So I need to put on some glasses because I cannot see this stuff correctly. Hmm. It doesn't seem that hard to do. So, what it's asking is, to move these out, like that, so that you can bring out his arms, or his fingers, and also his thumb. And it just wants us to keep everything together. Plug everything together like so. And then just turn this in like this. So there we go. Now, It says to hold in the fist I'm just going to put these right in because it doesn't make any sense to have them out like that. I think it'll look better just like that. Get everything tied in together. Oh, maybe that's why. So the thumb can actually move. Alright, so that is it for the arm mode. Not too bad. But how are we going to get this on this guy? So let's bring him up over here. Get him standing properly. And we'll raise the camera up. And it says to... Connected. I think it connects through this piece right 
there. Just like that. So yeah, uh, there is his arm. And this is supposed to be like this. There we go. So we're getting them together. Like, these connector points are, like, so cheesy, but it's okay. It is okay. So, there he is so far. What do you guys think? I think it's looking pretty cool. So, we only have one more to do. And, uh, he'll be done. And that's A-okay with me. So, uh, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links that I have um, in the description. And uh, like always, this is Freakenstein saying, keep playing, Freakenstein. Oh. Yeah.